What's going on everybody? Today I'm making a quick one for you. This is covering Ventoy and how you can back up your Ventoy USBs and how you can even copy them over to a new USB. I had a question, a very good question by the way, from one of my subscribers uh, who's thinking about purchasing. I'm not sure if he did or not, but if he did, thank you. Uh, either way, purchasing the Ultimate USB version 2, which is the greatest USB on the planet. If you haven't checked it out, head over to bootableusbs.com today. Order one today, I'll ship it tomorrow. Uh, and if you do, thank you so much for your support. But anyway, the focus of this video is showing you guys how you can back up your Ventoy USBs and kind of rounding back to that um, subscriber's question, hey, if I buy one of these, I wanna know if I can transfer it over to a larger SSD or maybe a M2 drive um, in a USB enclosure, whatever the case may be. Can I move this data to a newer, larger flash drive? or USB drive, I should say. The answer is absolutely yes. And we're gonna walk through that process right here today. So first thing I wanna do is show you guys that I am booted into the Ultimate USB version two. Uh, again, using VirtualBox VM for demonstration purposes. Everything's working fine. Here's all the different categories. Hop down into multi-tools. We've even got some new stuff in there. I've got videos covering all this. If you guys haven't seen it, consider checking it out. Uh, so yeah, just wanna show you that we have a functioning uh, Ventoy USB here. So I'll go ahead and shut this down. And I want to show you guys what that looks like from a file system perspective. So here's Ventoy H. This is the Ultimate USB version 2 that I just created on a uh, ESD 310C USB 3.2 Gen 2 USB drive. This is my standard. It's a awesome drive. I have a whole video covering that and why I selected that drive uh, for the Ultimate V2. But this is what it looks like. And then if we open Ventoy, I just did a video on covering the um, upgrade process for Ventoy. So we did a video where we had a USB on 1096 and we upgraded to 1097 and all the files and functionality were intact. Nothing got harmed in the process. So if we go to the H drive, which is the current drive that we just looked at in that VM, we see that it has 1097 or the package is 1097 and Ventoy is 1097. So we have the latest and greatest. So the next thing we're going to want to do is plug in a flash drive. So let me do that. Now, when I do this, it's going to be another uh, USB of the same exact type, but it the same holds true for any USB. Obviously, as long as it has enough capacity to copy everything over, um, you can do this with any USB. So I just plugged in, let me refresh here. I just plugged in this guy, the J, so it's the same exact drive type. Um, he does have Ventoy on there already, but we can format this guy if we want and walk through that process. So why don't we go ahead and do that? So if we look at the J, he's completely empty, nothing on him. So if we do a quick format on this guy, make sure I got the right drive. Always double check, guys. J, we're just going to do a quick format. Okay, we'll close that and we'll go back to Ventoy. Did I close that guy out? I think I did. Okay, that's all right. So we'll go back to Ventoy, launch that again, accept our UAC prompt, slide that guy on over, and now we'll go to J and refresh. You know what? That's my fault, guys. Good live demo, right? <laughs> Even formatting, it's not going to clear that out. So what we need to do is select our J drive, go to options, and then go to clear Ventoy. That's my fault, guys. I haven't I haven't wanted to get rid of Ventoy in a long time. Updating it, yeah, but clearing it out, not so much. But anyways, if you ever want to get Ventoy off your stick, that's the process. Make sure you select that correct drive, go to options, and then go to clear. All right, so it's going to format it. All your data will be lost. So again, double check. That's the J. We're good. All right, there we go. Now you don't even have to refresh. It shows that Ventoy, there's nothing on that disk as far as Ventoy is concerned. Again, if we hop back to the uh, J drive, now it doesn't even show anything on there. So, but if we go here, nothing on it. So now what we need to do is install Ventoy. So we click install, make sure you got that right drive. Yes. 
So this is like you started with a brand new flash drive. There's nothing on it. Congratulations, Ventoy successfully installed. Okay, so now we have the J drive. It's got 1097 on it, and it should be completely empty. So there it is. Now we can access it from a file system perspective. Empty J drive. Great. All right. So what my uh, subscriber was asking is, hey, if I buy this USB, can I move it to another USB? Again, absolutely. First thing you're going to want to do is plug that USB in like we just did. Launch Ventoy. Make sure you have the correct flash drive uh, selected. That would be the brand new one with nothing on it. And click install. So you're going to install Ventoy on the new USB. Once you do that, go to the existing USB. Uh, you'd have to have it plugged in, obviously. So go to your Ultimate USB V2 or whatever the existing one is. Open it up. Select everything. Control C to copy. And then head over to your J or whatever your new flash drive is, right? That you've just put uh, Ventoy on, by the way. And paste. It's literally that simple. So as long as you have Ventoy installed on the new USB and you have enough capacity, you can copy between them. This is a great way to make a backup of something uh, as far as a Ventoy USB, whether it's something you've built and you're really happy with it, or maybe it's something that you've purchased from my shop. Hey, thank you very much if you've done that. I appreciate the support. Um, and you want to make a copy of it, I don't blame you at all. Uh, totally fine to do that. So this could be a stick of the same capacity. This could be a bigger stick. Uh, if it's a smaller stick, you can do it with the caveat of, obviously, you can't transfer everything over, um, if that makes sense. Maybe you just wanted a couple of the categories. You'd have to go in there and look at how much capacity you have versus how much capacity you're trying to move over. But I think just keep it simple. Make sure your flash drive is the same size or larger than the one you're copying from. And this process works, and it's very simple. So we'll let this copy and finish out. And then um, we'll come back and we'll boot into this J Ventoy and make sure everything works. It should. We do this all the time. Um, and yeah, that'll conclude the demonstration of how simple it is to make a backup or make a copy of your Ventoy USB. Before we do that, in case you guys haven't seen uh, where to get Ventoy, it's right here. I can give you this link in the description. It's just ventoy.net forward slash en forward slash download dot html uh, you go there i'll do this again i've already got a couple copies but it's no big deal you click on the zip if you're running windows click on the the tarball or the tar g zip if you're running linux um, grab the windows here and once you click that it'll take you over to sourceforge again this is the only website that you actually do want to click that big green button not really but that's a, a funny joke at least I think it is for IT. All right, so you click this, download, latest version. That'll take five seconds. Then it'll kick off the zip download. And that only takes a couple seconds. Once that's done, you can say show in folder. As you see, I've got a couple copies. Just extract all. If you have a different um, zip program, maybe you use 7-zip or whatever, same process. Just extract all the contents. For this demonstration, I'll just put it right in the downloads folder in this new subfolder that it creates, but feel free to extract it anywhere you want. Click extract, and that's done. Okay, so now you have uh, Ventoy downloaded and extracted. Just go into this folder. This is the actual executable that creates the Ventoy or installs the Ventoy onto USBs. Uh, I've covered a lot of this other stuff. If you're interested, I have a whole series on Ultimate USBs where I do Ventoy configurations. Uh, JSON file configurations, all kinds of customization to Ventoy. So if you're interested, feel free to kind of comb through that playlist. Uh, if you have questions, always, I really like when you guys give me feedback and ask questions. Not only does it help the community, it sometimes gives me new ideas like this for new videos. Because uh, I'm not psychic, I don't know what you guys are thinking or what you guys are needing sometimes. So if you guys have questions and want to see other stuff, always feel more than free to drop me a comment and ask me about anything. All right, so now that you've uh, extracted and you've entered that Ventoy folder, all you do is double click this. You'll get a UAC prompt. Accept that, and voila, that's the application that we looked at in the beginning there. Again, this is used to install and to update Ventoy on USB drives.
probably sound like a broken record, but always, always, always make sure you have that right drive selected. So what I'll usually do, because I'm a little OCD, I'll select the drive, and then I'll go back to Windows Explorer. I'll open that drive and make sure, okay, that is a blank drive before I install. When you're updating Ventoy, you don't have to worry so much because, again, it doesn't take anything away from the um, stick. It'll even tell you, hey, this is safe. No ISOs are harmed in the process. Go ahead and proceed. But when you're installing it the first time, make sure, make sure, make sure you select that right USB drive or you could be in a lot of trouble. <laughs> but I know you guys are backing all your files up anyway, right? So you're not one of those people that don't have backups. I know that. All right, guys. So I'm going to let this um, copy complete. And then we'll come back, and like I said, we'll boot into the Ventoy from the J, and we should see a fresh copy of the Ultimate USB version 2 that we copied from the H drive. So we'll be right back. All right, guys, that copy operation has completed. We see we have our Ventoy J drive, and it has all the files from the previous Ventoy drive. Uh, let's just validate that this all works. So we're going to boot that USB VM one more time. We'll connect our Ventoy J drive, and then we'll boot into it just for validation. So we'll go to Devices, USB, Transcend. I unplugged the previous one that we copied from just so that I know which is which when I use VirtualBox. Machine, we'll reset it. That should take us into our Ventoy stick. And as you see, we're greeted with the Ventoy uh, password screen, so I can already tell it's working. And voila, there you have it, guys. It is literally that easy. Uh, if you want to move, copy, backup, duplicate a Ventoy USB, all you do is get a new USB, install Ventoy on that USB, which we demonstrated here, and then copy all the files from the source to the new destination where you installed Ventoy. Hope this was helpful to you guys. And again, you can do this to a larger USB, same size USB, uh, different type of USB. It's totally up to you. Just know with the Ultimate USB version 2, it's a very high performance drive. Uh, for Batasera and things like Windows, or I'm sorry, Tiny 11, you're going to get a better experience when using a super high performance uh, USB like the ones I supply. All right, guys, I hope this helps you out. Like I said, I had a, a viewer that asked a question about this, so thank you. I, I love when you guys leave me comments and ask questions. Um, it makes me feel really good about the channel. We have community interaction, and I know, obviously, I know what you guys are looking for because that's the goal is to create content that you guys care about that you're interested in. All right, guys, if you have any further questions about Ventoy or um, backing up Ventoy or moving Ventoy, duplicating Ventoy, please leave me a comment. Share this with your friends. Um, maybe it'll help someone else out. Give this video a thumbs up. I appreciate you guys sticking around to the end. And again, the goal is 10,000 subs for the end of the year. I think we can do it, guys, but it's going to take support from the community. 91% of you guys are not subscribed, so go ahead and just tick that button. I really appreciate it. Hope you all have a great day. Until the next one, take care, guys.